Hey guys, I decided to get on um, a little later than normal, but I definitely wanted to um, make sure that I did the Menstrual Monday. Uh, hey, thanks Noel. thanks for joining. It's Val Carrie. Tonight is Menstrual Monday, or today. It's uh, almost midnight, thanks for joining. Okay, so tomorrow is TOTM. Tuesday. I normally give the tip. Um, two o'clock, join me for the tip. But uh, at one o'clock tomorrow, there's going to be a Twitter party. And so, hey, yes. Um, hey, from Bushwick, I'm in Bed Stuy. <laughs> um, tomorrow from one to two, if you can join me for a Twitter party, the hashtag is. Full disclosure, ladies, do we know what is in our tampons? Do we know what's in our pads? Um, this is something that we should know. And right now, they're not required to put it on the box or put it in the packaging. Um, hey, Cree. They're not required to tell us what is... Hey, Becky Lynn. Yes, I've heard of the Diva Cup. I own one, love it, and I love Soft Cup even more. Um, but yeah, they're not required to tell us what is in our feminine products that are um, supposedly made of cotton. Um, they're made of some material, so whether it's a tampon or whether it's a, a pad. Um, more importantly, we really should know what our tampons are made of because they're actually being inserted into our most precious parts. I, um, probably about a year or so ago, there was an article that I blogged about and a woman actually had a moldy tampon. And that was because it's made of rayon viscose and the material somehow just got moldy. I guess, um, throughout transit, maybe it got wet and then it got molded. And normally when you're inserting a tampon into your vaginal cavity you don't get to see it and by the grace of God I suppose she was able to see this tampon before she inserted it and it was actually molded so um let me just I want to look at something really quickly what the material called what is the material called yeah that that actually happened um cert some Tampons are made out of rayon viscose, which is not, it's man-made material, it's not a natural material. I particularly, yes, thank you, uh, Joe Sosa. Hey, thanks for joining. Um, I recommend, well, I don't normally wear tampons. I really uh, prefer to wear a soft cup, a diva cup, a menstrual cup. And then my second go-to would be a pad. But if you are going to wear a tampon, I highly advise that you wear 100% cotton. It doesn't necessarily have to be organic, but organic, I believe, is even better. And definitely, ladies, I know you already know this. Do not, do not ever, ever, ever sleep with your tampon in. Because it will, one, one, it will dry you out. Your vaginal walls will get dry throughout the course of the, the evening and you open yourself up to actually uh hey you recently ordered Lola organic tampons yes I would definitely say that so you open yourself up to getting infections and then you also um, put yourself at risk for toxic shock syndrome so if you notice on all tampon boxes whether it's on the box or inside the box the the um insert says that toxic shock syndrome is associated with the usage of tampons. It's almost as if they're giving us um, like a surgeon general uh, warning. So if we know this, then we should really, we, we should, yes, it can affect your pH balance too, uh, Becky Lynn. We should really know what type of material is going inside us. And so that's what um, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, she's actually doing, don't sleep with them. Yeah, no, you can't sleep with them. Do not sleep with them. You can sleep with a soft cup, 
or a diva cup, you can wear those up to 12 hours. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Um, chocolate hearts. Thanks, Queen of Ketopia. <laughs> um, so tomorrow at 1 o'clock, join me. Join me on Twitter. I'm at Val Carey. I'm going to be tweeting about this issue of um, what is in our feminine products. Full disclosure, we need to know. And so the hashtag is full disclosure. And then at 2 o'clock, we'll be coming back with the TOTM tip. And for those of you who are joining me for the first time, I'm Val Carey, founder of TLTM Time of the Month, uh, The Ultimate Period Planner, which is a book, but then also um, the company is about menstrual wellness. And so I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Hey, where are you ladies from? What is a diva cup? Okay, now... I'm your blessing. She's someone that I know, and I can definitely say, Cree, seriously, what is a diva cup? I should have my diva cup sitting right on my, I'm in my desk, at, in my office right now. I should have my diva cup sitting on my desk so that you guys can see it. Oh, New York City, great. Um, a diva cup, oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's, it would just be too much trouble for me to go show you right now. But maybe next time from Chicago, hey. Um... Yeah, a diva cup actually is a longer type of menstrual cup. The soft cup is a, is more shallow, and it's actually soft. I prefer soft cups, and ladies, I mean, this is TMI for some people, but you know what? You can actually have sex with a soft cup and not with a diva cup because a diva cup has that little piece um, in my indirect cells. <laughs> is that a serious question? Okay, um, no. I'm not in direct sales. Do I do I sound like I'm in direct sales? Okay, so um, and I'm not trying to sell soft cup or a diva cup at all. I I don't get paid by them. I'm just sharing with you what it is that um, the products that I like to use and the products that actually have worked for me. Um, definitely a soft cup. Uh, you can get that in a pack of 14. Those are disposable. A Diva Cup, you actually can uh, buy it one time, and it lasts for about five years. You you have to wash it. Okay, so um, Diva Cup, they have online. You can They actually have them in Walgreens, but you can order yours offline from Amazon. Uh, I should be getting a kickback for this, right? But anyway... Um, it's all about sharing and definitely ladies um, share the information if you have some uh, diva cups yep so uh, <laughs> CVS that's right CVS Walgreens um, you're welcome and um, if you are into having sex on your TOTM if you pass the red line the thing about that is when you're wearing a soft cup it's messless sex. It's not as if your partner, you don't have to put down a towel on the bed or, and some of you've been there. Um, you don't have to do that because the soft cup actually holds the fluid in place and you can actually have messless sex. But I don't just like soft cups for that. It's the fact that you don't um, have that risk of getting toxic shock syndrome and you can wear it all throughout the night. You don't have to worry about leakages. If you go swimming, it's better than wearing a tampon. So um, definitely um, check those two products out. I highly recommend them. Um, <laughs> you New York women, listen, we New York women, we're Yes, we we have some things going on here. But anywho, I, I take that. I'll take that, Chicago. Um, I hope you guys are joining me tomorrow. I just wanted to jump on really quick. I wanted to say, hey, I know I was going to be here earlier. Um, <laughs> and you know what? Not everyone knows about the soft cup. Not everyone knows about a diva cup. Not everybody knows about a menstrual cup. Some of us are still just using tampons. And some of us are still just using pads. And if you're doing more activities that where you're really active and you're moving around a lot, you may want to think about investing or just looking into the other options of wearing a menstrual cup. Oh, thank you so much, Mrs. Day. Menstrual cups, men are lucky. Men are lucky. I think they're lucky just to have us because, you know, Women are the backbone of society, right? And without 
TOTM without our menstrual cycles, none of us would be here. Can young teens wear them? Yes, young teens can wear them. It's a one size fit all. Um, some menstrual cups actually have two different sizes, for, but for the most part, it's a one size fits all. I um, Normally, I advise young teens when they first start their menstrual cycle to go with a pad, not even a tampon. Because, you know, one, they have to become familiar and comfortable with actually having their menstrual cycle every month. Thank you for the hearts. Um, and then two, be comfortable with their body. They may not want to insert a foreign object in their vaginal cavity. So I normally advise um, young teens to start off with a uh, pad. Well, only during cheerleading season. <laughs> yes, you don't want to be on the sidelines. Um for any reason. When it's your TOTM, um, we have so many different products out there, whether there are tampons, whether they, it is the sponge, or whether it's a menstrual cup, you have options and you just have to find um, what is the best option for you. Okay, yes, she cheers. She's 13. When you bleed, is it the actual egg release and why bleed for days? Okay, so is the actual egg itself actually does get released but that's the endometrium that has grown um on the wall of your uterus which is our period every month uh egg is released and when your fallopian i am not a doctor i do have experience um as all of us women who menstruate but um i've done a lot of research and i wrote a book so I believe I am an authority in this topic of menstrual wellness. And so through my research and through the women that I've coached and uh, through my talks, I have come to gather a lot of information. So, yes, um, not the egg, the lining of your uterus is what causes the bleeding. Yes. Thank you, Joe Sosa. Um, so as I was saying, and I'm sure most of us do know that the lining of your uterus, which is the period blood that sheds off when the egg is not fertilized, becomes your period. So, thanks for that question. And if you guys have any more period questions, you can always email me at Val at Val Carey. Follow me on Twitter. And um, I will be more, I'll be back with more TOTM tips. I'm tired. It's midnight. Um, but thank you. Thank you for joining me. And I will be back tomorrow, tomorrow at 2 for a Periscope. But I will, uh, yes, it was great meeting you too, Queen of Ketopia. But I'll be on Twitter at 1, between 1 and 2. We're going to be tweeting about full disclosure about those products. Thank you for following. I'll follow you back too. Um, so join me back tomorrow, 2 o'clock. TOTM tips. I'll talk about what we talked about on Twitter if you're not on Twitter. And I'll bring you guys all up to speed. Thanks, Cree, for joining us. I'm your blessing. Good night. Um, so until tomorrow, may every TOTM be a so happy one. <laughs>